Well, Chumley, the garbage truck should be along any minute now. Let's get back to our house. Uh, okay, Tennessee. Uh, you mind I should bring along this newspaper? Good idea. I haven't seen a paper in... Zowie, look at that picture. T.S. Tiddlywink, a millionaire, and he looks just like you, Chumley. Uh, yeah, but he dresses funny. It says here he just left for a trip to Paris. Think of that, Chumley. While you sit in this ridiculous zoo, someone who looks just as stupid as you has made millions and is on his way to Paris. Uh, yeah, Tennessee, it sure makes you think. Maybe now you'll listen to me when I tell you you could get to be somebody, be treated like a human being. I tell you, Chumley, it's time you started. Uh, yeah, it sure does make you think all right. Mr. Tiddlywink, what are you doing here, sir? Uh, Mr. Tiddlywink? I thought you were on your way to Paris, sir. Uh, maybe I changed my mind? And those clothes, really, sir, we'd better get up to your office. You have a change of clothing there. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go up to my office. Meanwhile, Tennessee Tuxedo, unaware that Chumley was gone... Close the door behind you, Chumley. Chumley, where are you? Chumley! Tennessee hurried to where he had last seen Chumley. Here's Chumley's hat. Oh, no. The garbage truck must have picked up Chumley instead of the last garbage can. I've got to catch that truck. Stop! Get off my motor scooter! Stop him! Call the police! But Tennessee was not to be stopped. He drove to the city's giant incinerator. Has the truck come in from the Megapolis Zoo? Ah, uh, yeah, bud. Where's the garbage they brought in? Uh, right up there, bud. But there's nothing up there but... But smoke! That's it, bud. All burned up in the incinerator. Oh, no! My old buddy, my... my faithful chum. <laughs> Years of friendship gone, up in smoke. I'll never forget you, old chum, old chum. <laughs> and so broken-hearted, Tennessee headed back for the Megapolis Zoo. But as he rounded a corner and came into Main Street... Chumley! Chumley! I thought you were gone! Gone forever! Uh, I beg your pardon, little penguin. I do believe you have made a mistake. Mistake? What's wrong with you, Chumley? And where did you get those clothes? Uh, please, little penguin, let go of me. Take your filthy hands off, Mr. Tiddlywink. He's not Tiddlywink, he's Chumley. I'd know that voice anywhere. Let me handle this, Mr. Tiddlywink. Put me down. Shall we go home now, sir? Uh, home? Oh, yes. Uh, duh, that sounds like a dandy idea. Wait! Come back, Chumley! I know that's Chumley, but why doesn't he know me? I'd better go have a talk with Mr. Whoopi. And that's the whole story, Mr. Whoopi. Chumley has forgotten who he is. Well, my boy, if what you say is true, Chumley may have amnesia. Amnesia? What's that? Amnesia means loss of memory. Chumley may have injured his brain in a fall, and that could cause amnesia. Zowie! You see, my boy, our brain is very important to us. Our body would be worthless without a brain to make it work. How does our brain make our body work, Mr. Whoopi? Well, it sends messages to other parts of our body by way of nerves. If we want to bend down and pick up a stone, our brain sends messages to the muscles in our back. And then it sends messages to our arm and fingers so that we can reach and pick up the stone. Zowie, 
The brain must really be complicated. Oh, it is, my boy. Of course, in the case of Chumley, a walrus, the brain is not so complicated as it is in human beings, but it is similar. Let's take a closer look at the human brain. It's divided into three parts. First, there is the medulla. This part of the brain controls breathing and the beating of the heart. I see. The medulla. That's right. And the next part of the brain is the cerebellum. This helps to make our muscles move smoothly. I've got that. The cerebellum. But the largest part of the human brain is the cerebrum. The cerebrum is the part which makes us able to smell and see and hear. See and hear? But what about our eyes and ears? Don't they do that? My boy, even with the finest eyes and ears in the world, we couldn't see or hear at all without the cerebrum. And this is also the part of the brain which lets us remember. Remember? Then that must be the part that got hurt in Chumley's head. And that's why he can't remember. Exactly. But what can I do, Mr. Whoopi? How can Chumley get back his memory? Well, it might come back by itself in time, or another accidental blow on the head might bring back his memory. But the best thing you can do is to get him to the Megapolis Zoo Hospital. They'll know how to help him. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. And so it was that Tennessee, after finding out where Mr. Tiddlywink lived, arrived at the palatial Tiddlywink Mansion. Yes? No, it's you again. See here, you. I've come to take Chumley, uh, uh, Mr. Tiddlywink, to the Megapolis Zoo Hospital. Now, out of my way. Hmm. It is my observation, my dear fellow, that you're the one who needs a hospital. Me? Why, there's nothing the matter with me. No, but I have a rather strange feeling, my dear fellow, that there is going to be... This is a dangerous job, but Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. Sooner or later, Chumley has got to come out of that house. And when he does... Uh, I believe I shall take a walk. Mm. Now, mm. take it, take it easy, Chumley. This is for your own good. Uh, gee, hey, when you're making an awful mistake. I am Tia Tiddlywink. My chauffeur has told me so. Quiet, Chumley. They'll fix you up at the Megapolis Hospital. But when our heroes reach the gates of the Megapolis Zoo... There he is! Stop him! Get my motor scooter! Uh, look out, Hank, when you're gonna hit that tree! Oh, you wrecked my beautiful motor scooter! I'll have you washing pots and pans for months! Gee, Tennessee, what happened? What happened? Well, I was... Chumley, you've got your memory back. That crack-up cured your amnesia. Stanley, I'll wash all the pots and pans you want. It was worth it to get my best friend back. All right, Chumley, hand me those pots and pans. Gee, uh, Penguin, are you talking to me, T.S. Tiddlywink? Tiddlywink? Oh, no, not again. <laughs> I was only making a funny tendency. Uh, my brain is as smart as ever. That isn't saying much, Chumley. But there's no sense in taking chances. We'd better protect it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come on and see, see, see. Tennessee Tuxedo. See, see, see. Tennessee Tuxedo. Tennessee Tuxedo and his tail.